engine is cold, unscrew the cap from expansion tank. Using the dedicated tools, move the hose clamps around the hoses. Put the workshop recovery tray. Drain the coolant. For the purpose of this movie, we drained the coolant before. Remove the upper cover of the engine. Remove the handle of vacuum valve and put it next to the car. Loosen the clamps on the cylinder head cover, the vent hose. Take the hoses aside. Unscrew the oil filter cover. Disassemble it together with the filter. Remove any remaining oil from the housing. Remove the water hose from the filter housing. Set the workshop recovery tray. The workshop path should be under the engine at all time. Remove the complete base with the oil cooler. The new oil cooler is delivered with the filter base and includes the oil filter. Before mounting the base, clean the place of assembly thoroughly. Use the new bolts to screw the element to the engine block. Tighten the screws by diagonally using a torque wrench. Check the tightening torque of the oil filter cover. Plug the water hoses and put the clamps in correct place. Tighten the vent hose and cover head cylinders. Place and screw the vacuum valve. The elements on the right side have been disassembled for purpose of the movie. Put the air inlet in correct place. Reinstall the engine cover. Pour new coolant into the expansion tank to top mark level. Screw the cap on the extension tank. Follow the venting procedure carefully. Start the engine and keep it running at 2000 RPMs for approximately 3 minutes. Let the engine idle until the fan turns on. Fill up with coolant as needed. 